Welcome back everybody. For this week's Tuesday video, we're going to take a look at the Spitfire. It just got nerfed a lot, so we're going to look at should you still use it, the best ways to use it, and how the nerfs affected it. So the Spitfire's been in the care package for quite some time, a couple of seasons, and it just came out this season. A couple of the nerfs that I want to go over that they did to it, they decreased the bullet damage from 19 to 18. They decreased the max capacity with purple and gold mags from 55 to 50. They removed the ability to attach a barrel mod to the gun, which is big. The multiplier for headshot damage reduced from 1.75 to 1.5. The reload time was slightly increased, and the hip fire spread was slightly increased when someone's crouched. And the handling times have been slightly nerfed across the entire board. And that's quite a bit of nerfs. So the real questions are, how's the Spitfire feel? Does it affect how you use it in game? So let's jump into that. In my opinion, the biggest nerf that the Spitfire got was the removal of the barrel mod. This removes this weapon attachment completely, doesn't allow you to equip one, looks more like the flat line where it can just have a mag, a sight, and a stock. Despite the barrel mod being the biggest nerf in my opinion, I really haven't felt that effect that much when I've been using the Spitfire in-game. I feel like its recoil is still not terribly hard to control, especially up close and mid-range. And besides that, there's not a whole lot that it feels different from before it went into the care package. Now before I let you guys know if I think you should still use the Spitfire in competitive and ranked, even pub gameplay, let me jump in how to best use it. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, I don't need to learn how to use the Spitfire, I don't need any tips or tricks because all you gotta do is hold down the trigger. And while you're not completely wrong, it does take a little more than that to use the Spitfire effectively. One well, of the first things I want to look at with the gun is what sight should I use. So for me personally with the Spitfire, I don't like the iron sights. So when I find any other sight that it can use, I will throw that sight on there. But my absolute favorite optics for it is the two times. The two times on the Spitfire I think just feels the best. It gives it that range capacity to mid range that it can really use. And I like it a lot more better for accuracy than the three times or the two by four. The next thing you wanna look at with the Spitfire is what range you should use it at. So for me personally, I believe the Spitfire should only be at close to close mid range. After that, it gets a lot harder to control the recoil to hit your shots. You can tap fire a little bit, but for the most part, I think if you stick to those close to close mid range, you'll do a lot better and you'll get a lot more kills. Another quick tip for you is carry a lot of ammo when using a Spitfire. I tend to carry 180 to 240. That seems to work pretty well for me, but I know some people carry even more than that because the Spitfire burns through quite a bit of ammo when you're using it. My last tip for you about the Spitfire is to use the hip fire. The hip fire in the Spitfire before the nerf was maybe the best in the game, and now it's still very, very good. I've used it in a couple of games and it's still incredibly effective and if you can use the hip fire it's a lot faster in aiming down sights and often can be more accurate and that'll help you win a lot of gunfights with the Spitfire. Now let's get into my thoughts on should you use this newly nerfed Spitfire. In my opinion, 100% yes. It doesn't feel incredibly different from before the nerf. All the nerfs that they adjusted to it feel pretty good. I think they were warranted. The Spitfire before it got thrown in the care package was obscene. It would You would just destroy people with it. But I still think it's a very, very viable weapon. Very, very effective. Definitely something you should pick up and use, especially if you're running Rampart. Rampart, it's a must-have. All in all, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and let me know down below in the comments what you think of the Spitfire and if you think it's still good.